What's going on guys? It's Tyler from Division One Trading and this is just a live recap. I was teaching the new ICT Reaper fair value gap during a live session. If you want to check it out, go ahead and watch this video. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Look at now, I'm not a big fan of like adding a ton of stuff. You don't really need it. So I'd say it's really just if you're already advanced and if you're already very well versed with breakers and understanding how breakers work. So as you know, for our breaker concept, we have to take a high and then we have to take a low. The way that we view breakers traditionally and then the way that looking at them this way helps you get a better understanding. So if we were just looking at this move here, we could say that this is probably a bearish breaker. Now it didn't really take, damn, it didn't really take a ton of liquidity, but it still took a, a decent amount of liquidity here. So we would be looking at it generally bearish um, as it was coming into it. Now, when that was upset, right? Think about this. When that breaker failed, it failed to push price lower right here. When it came into it, it didn't reject. It went straight through. So now we have a breaker again. We've taken the stops down here with this low. And now we've taken the stops, not only just above that old high, but above the high of the day as well. So now we have a, a true breaker right here. Now, what we want to look at and just if you're going back to this video and just using and just looking for one, just try to focus on just bullish examples or you're going to get confused. So when you see the, the impulse leg, right, that's where the buy stops have to be taken. That is the leg that you're going to measure for your projection. So we're going to measure this. Now we already know we want to see it go for one to one. So right here is our target. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off just so uh, we have a good amount of space. So right there is our target on the Reaper, one to one. Now, the Reaper or is actually a fair value gap. And so what you're going to look for is this impulse leg that we just measured, it has to have a fair value gap in it. So you can see that there's a fair value gap right there. And I measured it with that blue box. So we know that the fair value gap has to be there. Now, we can measure that fair value gap. And if we're bullish, obviously, we want to be buying at a discount. So, and, and generally, we want to see a pass through. So we can buy this leg, but we actually don't have to because it cuts through candles. So we can wait. You can see it trades back into it right there. Once it tagged the 50 that second time, that's when I went long. My original stop was right here around this one and then moved it up here after it moved uh, to three to one, essentially. Now, once it hit that Reaper target right there, I took my partials and I let it come back. Interest rate happened right here. They ended up leaving me in the trade and now they're running. So the original setup, uh, it has to be close to a 10 to one. Five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight to one. Yeah, so we're essentially at nine to one right now. We'll see what happens there. But does, I know that this is probably a lot confusing, like I said, unless you've been working with a breaker for a while now. But does anyone have any questions? Yeah, Miles, the. Uh, so Miles was asking what candle you uh, used to identify the breaker. He was in the group earlier asking about breakers. Used to identify the breaker. This candle right here would be the breaker, right there. It'd be the bullish breaker. Wait, Tyler, another quick question. So there has to be a fair value gap in order to buy also? Yes. There has to be a fair value gap in this leg of the breaker. Like, so if we're looking at a bullish breaker, what would a bullish breaker look like? What well, would have to take the low and then it would have to take the high. So now this leg here becomes the bullish breaker, right? So then this leg has to have a fair value gap. So when it trades back into that breaker, you're buying at the fair value. That's all it is. All right. Thank you. Gotcha. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for the Reaper pattern. Really appreciate you checking out the video. Make sure you hop in the free Telegram group. The link is right here in the, in the description below. I'll answer any of the questions that you may have about the Reaper or order blocks or fair value gaps or any help that you might need. We also trade live and catch trades just like this Monday through Friday during New York session. So make sure you go ahead and hop in the group. Also, make sure you like this video. Give us a subscribe for more content just like this. Peace. Y'all have a good week.